So I'm back with another organization video for y'all. I know there's probably going to be a lot of organization and decluttering videos, especially at the beginning of 2024 because I'm cleaning out all areas in my home. So today and yesterday, today is Sunday when I'm filming this. Yesterday I started on all of the tax information. That's not what this video is about, but that kind of led into my receipts. And the receipt organization is the same organization system that I've had since the beginning of this channel and since I've had a blog, probably since 2011. So I found a system that works for me and I've kind of stuck with it ever since. So if you've seen this system before, it's the same system. I just wanted to walk you guys through it since it's the beginning of 2024 and I'm going through everything and getting it all cleaned out and organized for the new year. So my receipt organization is a two part system, basically. So the first part is when I get a receipt. When I get a receipt, it goes up here in this organizer. So it's a hot mess right now and that's why we are getting it all organized. So it is from Ikea. I've used this for years. It's moved all, it's moved with us several different places. It's moved in the office several different places and I really like it. It's the Ikea k-v-i-s-s-l-e i will link it in the description below if they still have it i want to say it's a magazine wall organizer but i use it for for my paper organization so the very top up here that looks like the hot mess is kate and derrick's any type of grade reports certificates artwork or anything that i want to keep for their school memories i put it up there and then it'll all go in their um folders that you can see right here these folders for the year if you don't know what i'm talking about i will link a video where i talk about that then mine and nathan's and mine is ours is usually empty coupons i probably need to go through that because you know you get a coupon i put it in here and then it sits here for months and it's expired here are the receipts as you can see they're overflowing with christmas and all of that so this is what we're going through today so i'm going to pull this folder out and we're going to go through it so anytime i get a receipt that is where the receipt goes and then the two file and I've already looked through this and basically it has my eye prescription in here. And I don't want to put that up because I want to make sure it's easy to get to it in case I need to go get more contacts. So love this organization system. It has helped me tremendously keep everything organized, paperwork in my house. So now to the step two. So the step two is this accordion organizer right here. And you guys, I probably got this 12 years ago from Walmart, I think it was. And very inexpensive, it probably didn't cost $7. And this is where I keep all of my receipts. So inside, they're all labeled. And there's not enough sections, so I had to do one, two, or three letters together. So all of the inside there. And I organize my receipts by name of the store. So Walmart would go under the W, Target would go under the ST. If I'm talking about um, home goods, it would go on the GH and so forth. So what I'm gonna do before I get to the receipts that I just pulled down over here, we're gonna go through the organizers here, each section, and I'm gonna see if there's any receipts that I need to get rid of. So this is kind of a temporary storage this is permanent storage that I go through at least once a year. So why do I get rid of certain receipts? If, you know, if it's a clothing item and we've wore the clothing and we're not going to return it, I get rid of it. Anything that I keep is stuff that is long lasting. Uh, let me see. And don't mind my appearance today, you guys. I'm still in my pajamas. It is a Sunday and I really don't have to get dressed until this afternoon to take Kate to cheer prep, not cheer volleyball practice lord she hasn't done cheer in two years what's up with me okay so let me look through here and kind of share with you some things like here this isn't technically a receipt but i keep it in here so we have a little ceramic christmas tree in the hallway that my mother-in-law got us years ago and this is just a little care instruction that i keep in here just in case i need it i know where it is so no it is not a receipt but it's still important paperwork that I put in the category as a receipt. Let me see something else that we might need. 
oh, like a Lowe's receipt. If I have an appliance that I've received and maybe it's paid off, but I just wanna keep it just for warranty purposes, that might be it. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go through all of these sections. We're gonna pull out all of the receipts that can be shredded. So once they are looked at, I will shred them if I do not need them. hope I got that filmed because of the fact that I'm over here pulling stuff and I noticed that my screen is gray or it's blacked out. So I'm hoping I got some of that. So this is all cleaned out. And I must say, I don't know if I cleaned this out last year because I had a lot of old stuff, but I didn't have a ton of stuff in here. Everything that I had was old, but it was cleaned out if that makes sense. So all of that, if you can see that little line right there, that's how much I got rid of all of that was shredded paper because this was empty when I started. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go through this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort these. I'm going to look through them. I'm going to determine if I'm going to keep them or get rid of them and then I will sort them by store. So that is all organized and as you can see I shredded most of the receipts that were in that folder. So this folder is ready to go back on the little organizer and got several things to put in here. So now all of this I'm just going to organize and put back in here according to store. So after I'm finished with the video, I am going to clean that out to get that ready to go. I don't want to leave it that filled. And this I'm going to put, I was going to put it down there and I don't think there's space. So I'm going to put it in my office closet and I don't need it every single day. So that's why I keep it in the closet. And then the last order of business is to put this folder back in the organizer. So much better. I know that was short, but it's something that I needed to get done. So this might have been a very quick video. I'm really not sure. I never know how long a video is until I get to the editing process, but I wanted to share it with you just in case you haven't seen any of my previous videos where we went through it. So you don't have to spend a lot of money to organize. Once you get a system that works for you, just stick with it. That's what I have done. The only thing that I purchased was that wall organizer, the folders that were in it, and then the accordion fall from Walmart years ago. So if a system is not broke, don't fix it. So in the comments below, I would love for you to share with me how you store your receipts and if you store them at all. Let's get a conversation going about that in the comments below. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you give it a big thumbs up. By giving my videos a thumbs up, it shows YouTube you're engaged and you like my content and y'all been doing a good job at that and I feel like my videos are getting seen a little bit more. So thank you so much. So I hope you all have a blessed week and until next time, bye you guys.